and welcome to Just One More Watch and welcome to a very special video. Just One More Watch just got engaged. Yes, that's right. I asked my amazing girlfriend to become my amazing wife and presented her with a ring. But before she said yes, she asked me to become her amazing husband and presented me with an Omega Seamaster Aquaterra. Oddly enough, I said yes. So before you get any ideas, watch and woman are both off the market. But as we were away for the weekend, I couldn't resize the watch there and then, so I thought I'd bring it back and record this very, very special unboxing. So let's flip the camera and get into it. Well, bloody hell. Bloody big box. I didn't expect to be opening this one, frankly. Uh, this is fairly off the cuff because I know nothing about this watch. I've tried it on a couple of times, I've looked at them in shops, but I didn't imagine for a minute uh, that my beautiful new fiance uh, would actually give me one as an engagement present. So I looked at it yesterday. I have opened the box, so I know what I'm getting in here, but I haven't even taken any of the plastic off. Look at that. Look at the packaging you get with these things. Normally I moan about the box, uh, but I think I can forgive this one. I think I can forgive it. Just amazing. Beautiful wooden box here. You get a big, thick, uh, multilingual, operating instruction manual, which obviously as a man I will still ignore, uh, and the warranty card. This one came from a small independent jeweler, uh, authorized dealer in Chinatown in, in Sydney called Shums. A uh, friend just bought a Speedmaster there, so he took my girlfriend in, or my fiance, uh, in and helped her select this one. Let's get into the wooden box then. So I've been an admirer of the Aquaterras for a long, long time. I've got a couple of Omegas in my collection already. I'll probably do a State of the Collection video when I get to 1,000 subs. I've got an old 82 uh, Seamaster, very dressy little thing. And I've also got a Prevont, which I wore for 10 years and absolutely adored. So big fan of these. And I thought the Aquaterra, look at that, just amazing. Oh, I should say a uh, little Omega logo there. Look at that, I'll peel off that plastic. I did want to keep it nice and fresh uh, so I could make a video about it. All right, here we go then. So let's get the watch out. Now this is the Black Face uh, Coaxial Chronometer Automatic in the 38 and a half mil. Now, definitely happy with this size. They do a 38 and a half and a 41, I think. But I think, you know, the 41's a big size for a man's watch. Uh, I've got my Navi Timer, which is a 42. So I'm delighted that this one is the slightly smaller size. I think, you know, this one's a long, long-term watch for me. And I mean, look at that thing, it is gorgeous. I think the Aquaterras are really simple watches. They're kind of everyday watches, but I think once we get a bit of this plastic off, look, I even saved this for you so that you could experience the joy of peeling the plastic off with me, if I can actually get it off. Oh, maybe it's stuck. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so the, there is a lot of plastic on this watch. I'm gonna pop this on pause and I will be back in just a second with that freshly opened Seamaster Aquaterra. So there we are, I managed to get all of the plastic off. There was plenty there. And that dial is just beautiful. Lovely vertical stripe to it. Now those indices, I'm not sure if you can see them there, so much detail in them. They're little wedges. They little they point back towards the center. Gives the whole dial. It makes it almost look like a kind of bowl shape. Just beautiful. Uh, Three one six stainless steel. Obviously, uh, one hundred and fifty meters water resistance. Screw down crown. I just adjusted the time. It doesn't seem to have a quick set date, but it, the the hours do rotate quickly. So I was able to to set it fairly easily. This will be an everyday wear for me. So I don't anticipate uh, changing this one around too often. Beautiful mixture of brushed surfaces and polished surfaces. And those lugs, look at the lugs, they kind of twist and curve back down to the, the strap there, to the bracelet. Just beautiful. And the bracelet's lovely, this kind of butterfly clasp system. Beautiful Omega logo on there. Polished mid-link. Now I was a bit dubious about the polished mid-link. I'm not that into shiny shiny blingy watches but i think the whole thing carries it off and this is a as i said a really long term watch for me so one for a slightly dressier occasions i'm a fairly formal dresser most of the time myself so i think it'll it'll suit perfectly wow look at that thing 
just gorgeous. Now this movement is an 8500. I had a brief look at it on the Omega website. Seems to be a three and a half hertz. Does that make sense? Uh, seven ticks per second. So we've got about 25,000 and something ticks per hour. So the second hand sweeping nicely and smoothly there, but perhaps not quite as smoothly as a four hertz movement. I guess the idea is that they, um, they don't require servicing quite as long. And this one is majorly anti-magnetic. Uh, I'm not sure that's gonna be much of a factor for me, but just stunning. All right, I'm gonna size it up. I'll be back in a minute and pop it on my wrist. And there it is, sized up for my seven inch wrist. I decided that discretion was the better part of ruining a brand new watch. And I took it back to the AD that my fiance bought it from and had them size it up for me. In the end, it wasn't too difficult, just a couple of little screws uh, and little pins that you push through the middle, but I didn't want to start mucking around with it on my own. I'll know for next time. It is stunning. Now, a lot of shiny surfaces, it does quite intentionally catch the light, so that's something I'm gonna have to get used to wearing this one, but just beautiful. Love that little clasp as well, kind of deep etched Omega logo there, and the face is so pretty, so much going on but not too much, still just a lovely, lovely looking watch. Beautiful little indices, lovely applied logo there also. And another quick look at the movement just before I go today. Lovely etching around the outside of the, the case back, the display case there. And there's actually little etched um, on the lugs it says stainless steel and there's a little number over on that lug on the other side. Some really nice little features, as you would expect at a not inconsiderable sum, this one. So I'm not gonna do the usual thing where I start a watch check app and come back in a week or two. Uh, this one's a keeper. It's gonna be my, I guess, it's gonna be my main watch from now on. So I'll probably leave it and come back with a proper long-term report on this one sometime closer to Christmas time. And I'll keep this movement running. Really interested to see how accurate this master chronometer coaxial movement is. So that'll do for today. Amazing gift. I'm a very lucky man in a lot of different respects today. Very, very lucky indeed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.